Hidden away in a corner of Southampton, England, is a World War I memorial that few people know about. Yet Hollybrook is just as important as the Thietval Memorial on the Somme or the Menin Gate in Ypres. So just where do we remember the 45,000 people who died at sea during World War I, many of whom have no known grave? Royal Naval personnel are remembered on memorials at Portsmouth, Plymouth and Chatham, whilst merchant Navy seamen are commemorated at Tower Hill, London. Hollybrook bears the names of almost 1,900 servicemen and women of the Commonwealth Land and Air Forces who were lost at sea and whose bodies were never recovered. Most of these died in hospital ships, troop ships and merchant ships torpedoed or mined in home waters. There are more than 100 panels commemorating 27 ships and two airships lost at sea. Below the name of the ship and in order of rank, are the names of the personnel whose bodies were never recovered. Other panels list by country those who died of wounds and illness and are buried at sea. The Cross of Sacrifice is built of Portland stone with an inverted bronze longsword. It is found in most Commonwealth War cemeteries with more than 40 burials. The plot at Hollybrook contains 73 graves of sailors, soldiers, airmen and nurses who served in World War I but died on English soil. So why was Southampton specially selected for this memorial? Quite simply, Southampton was the primary embarkation point for troops and supplies leaving England and the main route back home for hospital ships carrying the wounded from France. Behind each panel lie stories of tragedy and heroism of the passengers and crew after the fatal explosion of mine or torpedo. In total, 25 hospital ships were sunk in World War I and seven are commemorated at Hollybrook. Hospital ship Anglia was carrying nearly 400 wounded from France to Dover. She struck a mine and sank in only 45 minutes. Almost 200 of the wounded men on board were strapped into beds on the lower decks and many of them drowned along with 10 medical staff and 25 crew. The sinking of four troop ships is also particularly remembered here at Hollybrook. By far the most famous is that of the SS Mendy, carrying over 600 South African labourers recruited to work in France towards the end of the First World War. At 5am on the 21st of February 1918, she was rammed at full speed just off the Isle of Wight by a Royal Mail steam packet in thick fog. Few of the labourers could swim and many were trapped below decks. Almost 650 were drowned. This tragedy remains of huge significance to South Africa. There are memorials commemorating the sinking in Port Elizabeth, Avalon Cemetery in Soweto and a Roll of Honour in Cape Town. Each year, the 21st of February, is remembered by military parades in South Africa and a ceremony at Hollybrook. Uniquely, Hollybrook commemorates the airship crews who lost their lives at sea. The four crew of Coastal Airship 25 disappeared without trace at sea off Aberdeen. The nine crew of Airship 11 were lost in a lightning storm off the Norfolk coast. The bodies of one crew and their mascot terrier dog were washed ashore. Apart from the SS Mendy, the most famous sinking remembered here is of HMS Hampshire, which sank on the 5th of June 1916. Aboard was Field Marshal Kitchener, the face of the most famous recruiting poster of World War I. HMS Hampshire sank two miles off the coast of Orkney after hitting a mine. The names of 746 people who disappeared are also remembered at a special memorial nearby. Less famous, but just as important to remember, are those crews lost aboard a further 17 trawlers, pilot boats, mail ships and passenger liners. Almost 1,500 names from ships that little is now known about.
Without memorials like Hollybrook, future generations would know nothing of those people who died at sea and who are named here. I hope you can see from this short video that the Hollybrook Memorial in Southampton occupies a very special place in the history of World War One.